Okay, so I found a picture of a hippo that I like. I click on view original image. I right click, save image as, call it hippos, put it in my pictures folder, replace. Yes, I could just copy it, copy image. No, you can't because it's in Inkscape. Inkscape doesn't recognize that. So then you go to Inkscape. Can you? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. You can do it. Okay. Right, but I now want to lock this, so I'm going to create a new layer. Uh, and I'm going to call that Draw. And my layer palette. Uh, pull that out. What's that? Oh, I know, that's the... Um, do, 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 view the layers. Okay, so I've now got draw and layer. And if I click on these eyeballs, I can make things hide and show. So I'm going to call that hippo or um, photo. And then I know this is where I'm drawing. Okay, and then I can drop down the opacity on the photo layer to make it more and more see-through. Yeah, so that I can see which are the new bits. Okay, another trick, top trick, is if you draw in black, it's difficult to see, especially if you're drawing that gorilla. Yeah, so if you change your drawing color to something horrible like pink, uh, click to set the fill, shift click to set the stroke. Okay, and then I go uh, Bezier tool. Okay, that's my stroke now. And then I'm going to zoom in. I just, I'm just going to draw the, the, the head. Okay, so I'll draw. And you can either just go click, 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 click all the way around, or you can click and pull to make curves. That's what I usually do. And then if you go, if you kind of, I'm going to skip out most of his face. You'll see why in a minute. See, so I go there, click and pull to round it off. Can you see that? You'll see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to bring it round. My first point was up there, so I'm just going to snap to connect. Okay? So that's the kind of purpley area. And then I'm going to change colour again so I can see what I'm doing. Click with, oops, um, click off. And I'm going to do his two eyes as separate shapes. Okay, so I'm going to go click, click, drag, click, click. And I'm going to press return to say I've finished that shape now. Same here, click, click and pull, click and pull, click. And return, click, 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 and it finishes it automatically if you do it that way, and then click, nostril, so you click and pull if you want a smooth curve, you click and just click if you don't want a smooth curve. Um, and then here I just want a line, so I'm just going to go like that to there, and then hit return. Here I just want a line, so I'm just defining his face kind of. Yeah, and that's ended up slightly in the wrong place. So I just need to pick that up. Remember with this tool, the node editing tool, N. Okay, then I hide. No, don't hide that one. Oh, I've been drawing on the photo layer all this time. Why did no one stop me? You're drawing on the photo layer. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm going to grab all of those things. I've put them in the wrong place now. This could happen to you. Um, layer, move the selection to the layer above. So I've drawn them all on photo by mistake. Now I'm going to move them up to the draw layer. Or not.
Gut. There you go. Okay, so now we can hide our photo and then once we're happy with everything we can say actually I don't want any fills so I'm going to get hold of that and I'm going to click on no fill at all thank you down in that bottom corner can you see that? So fill colour none click no. yeah so I've got no fill and then I'm going to set on the big outline I'm going to set the fill to be grey and then I'm going to select them all and shift click what does that do? sets the stroke colour to black okay and then I realise that I should have set that one to grey uh, oh I've got the opacity set Right, drag across them all, or do Control A for um, select all, Control A, and then set the opacity to 100% opaque. Okay, now that one there, which is a slightly darker shade, should really be behind his head. Yeah, so I'm going to do Object lower to the bottom, so that pushes it just behind. Can you see that? Yeah, and it's a slightly darker shade. This eye, is he asleep? Yes. He's asleep. Let's set that and shift click on that one. Make them a darker shade of grey, almost black even. Let's go for solid black. Um, and, oh, one last thing. Let's just turn the photo back on and hide that layer. He's got like a kind of a pinky part here. Yeah, so I'm just going to draw, you'll like this, this is, this is super clever. Click, 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 and it kind of goes to there. Click, 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 okay? And that wants to be sort of between, there you go, that's hippo pink. No stroke on it though. Now, but I want it to only work where there's already face. So I get the face, I duplicate the face, and now I've got a face and a bottomy part. Hold down the shift key, click on that, now I've got both of those selected. And then do you remember we did the cutting things out of other things? Exclusion, union, difference, do you remember all those? Yeah? And I only want the bit where they overlap. So I click on that. And now I've got that. Yeah? And then I can just do um, it's it's not, it's in front of all these bits of lines. Yeah, so I can push it downwards. Raise and lower our page up, page down. So I can do you have to do function up down on your max. Okay? How's that for a hippo? Okay, right now I want to save my file. So save, call it hippo. Put it in Inkscape, that's fine. I'm just going to round off the top of his head a bit with the node tool. There you go. Now yeah, let's change that a bit now. Oh, I've messed it up now. Leave it as it was. Anyway, leave it as it was. Um, then file to s export the whole thing as a bitmap, a PNG file. You say you can either select the whole page, just the drawing, just what you've got selected. Usually you select drawing, okay? And then it puts it in hippo.png export, okay? Then if I go to my Google page and go to mrk.bxs.org.uk slash... 2018, go to here, Inkscape and Web, and I'm going to now 
sign in. Edit. Insert image. Upload an image. Choose a file. File I'm going to choose is in my pictures folder, which is there. Hippo, 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 hippo. Oh, top tip, if you've got a lot of files in a folder, if you sort by date, then the most recently edited ones will come to the top. Inkscape, hippo. And can you see, I've got a hippo.png, which is suitable for putting into web pages, and a hippo.svg, which is just an Inkscape file. So I can't put that one in my web page, but I can put that one in. Okay? So I click on that, it should upload it. There it is. Okay, that. And there she blows. I've made it a bit small. Um, and you can tell it to wrap around and go over there. Okay? And that is... Oh, and then to email it to Mr. Kershaw, you then do... Um, go to your email, which is... Um, Gmail or BXS email or however you get there. Log into your email. Create a new file with compose. To admin at bxs.org.uk, which is me. Subject Rachel Hippo. And then you say, here is my hippo picture. Hope you like it, great chill. And then we need to click on the paper clip down there. Uh, what? No, not that. Go. What? Oh yes, there you go. Click on Hippo SVG and choose. Okay. And then we also we might as well put in a link to Mr. Kershaw's web page that he's added it to. Click. Oh, save first. Save and select all of that. Copy it. Switch back to my email. Paste. Send. And with any luck, it should arrive at Mr. Kershaw's inbox in moments. Okay, have you all memorized everything I said there for the last 12.4 minutes?